Okay folks, we're gonna make some dumbbells today out of steel, a cement mix. All you need is these items, basic items around your home. Doing it yourself is a lot cheaper than having to buy metal weights. First thing you'll need is a pipe. I think I'm using a two inch pipe here. This is galvanized pipe, so it doesn't rust. And you're gonna cut it into 20 inch pieces. Now, that's a um, bleach bottle that I cut. Some people like to use these uh, clear plastic bottles, but I don't like it because they tend to crack. The bleach bottles hold better and they don't tend to crack. Now, the important thing with using um, this metal pipe is that a lot of people just cement it onto the pipe, but there's a risk that the cement, could sl the cement mix can slide off. So what you need to do is to put something that the cement can bind to on either end. By the way, I'm making these dumbbells so that the weight is permanent. It's not meant to slide off. It's a lot safer this way and you can, you know, handle the dumbbells without worry about the, the weight moving or the cement moving. The less the cement mix moves, when it becomes a concrete, the, the better for you. You can see all the scrap metal that I'm using and all the bleach bottles that I cut um, basically to the same size. Um, in case you don't know, I also made a video about creating heavy weights out of tires. And in that video, the picture you saw, I created one that was 375 pounds. That's right. But in this one, we're just doing dumbbells and the process is a bit different to doing it on tires. I can't emphasize uh, enough. It's important that you get the cement mix correct. Not too watery, not too dry, just as the directions show you. You can see the consistency of my mix right there. This is how it looks when you do the first part. Because the dumbbells are on either side, you first have to do one side, let it dry and then do the other side. And it's important to make sure it's leveled. I'm using a level for that. And you can see where I have an extra bit of cement and I used it in the third one. And when you have that, use a PVC to in the center so that it makes a place for when you put the pipe and the mesh also helps to continue whatever cement you will later put in that. Now this is a step that people don't do but it's very important. If you cut some mesh and you put it on the top um, of each dumbbell before it dries then what happens is it prevents the cement, the concrete mix from breaking off in little bits as you move the dumbbell. This will keep it all solid. I mean, this is an extra step. You don't have to do it. Take your trowel and you uh, level it off. There's no need to see the mesh. It's just right under your mix. Now, after a 24 hour period, you will find that it's already dry, but don't, don't use this yet. You know, let it cure properly. But it is good enough that we can work on the other side because I know once you're making dumbbells you're kind of anxious to get this process over it so you can start using it. Also don't get rid of the plastic. The plastic also acts as a protector for the cement. So you want to keep it on there. It's not going to bother you and you will see the end result. It will look good. So in the preparation to do the other side you once again go through the process of mixing the cement. In this case, I'm using a pre-made mix that has the gravel and the cement and other additives uh, to bind everything well together. I'm mixing my water measured and using a trowel to mix it all up. In the uh, heavy weights video, I use a swivel that I made, but in this video, I don't need to do that because we're not mixing as much cement. So you'll see how I packed it here. 
Um, you'll notice there's some metal in it, or I will place some metal in it as I'm doing that. The metal helps to give it strength. That's another thing that people may not necessarily do. They just go and throw, you know, the cement mix there. But you, you do want metal around it to strengthen it. As you put the cement mix in, make sure to pack it well because it will prevent air bubbles. So after another 24 hours, you can see it's already cured. But again, do not remove the plastic. And even though it's cured and it's hard, you don't want to be using this yet. However, as it's slightly soft, you can knock out those edges like I'm doing with the trowel. Don't worry about how dirty the appearance looks. The plastic does not bind with the cement, so it'll be cleaned up. See? Nice and white. And it looks good. Now we're going to weigh it. And the nice thing with having these plastic containers is you know exactly how much weight you're going to have. So you see that first one was 31 pounds. And this next one, 31 pounds. So it's all ready to go now. Give it about four days to fully cure and then you can use it how you like.